Hey everybody, this is Rido, and today we're starting a series in celebration of Valentine's Day, or around there. Uh, so we're go going to play one of the few romance slash sex slash love games that really meet my criteria as something I could cover on my channel. Uh, particularly one of those things is it has to be family friendly and follow you good YouTube's guidelines. And while the game certainly is mature and should not be played by kids, I will be editing out some things. Uh, of course, some things won't be edited out, so you can see here at the beginning of the screen there are several girls in which we will date, and the one right in the middle is sitting there in our underwear. So we are going to have a high level of uh, ergo, I guess would be the right term. Uh, ero? No, yeah, ero. Erotic. That's the word, yes. A high level of eroticism going on here without violating anything or actually showing anything too bad. Now, as this game starts on Steam, you can, it starts in the window always, and you can go to full screen. But e even if you go to full screen, you do just have bars on the right and left. Now, I can change it and stretch it out so it would look like this. However, if I do that, then I have actually stretched out and made the hips, the, the waist, the faces, everything is now wider on the characters and since this game is so focused around showing you good looking girls here uh, good looking cartoon girls here it would be a a bad idea in my opinion to do that so you'll just have to live with the black bars uh, on the side if you want to stretch it out yourself and you can find a way to do that that is fine by me but for most people, I think having the proper aspect ratio is the right move. So, here we go, and interesting, you can start as a male or start as a female. The settings, I have all of the audio down here, and I have it on full screen, even though it is not in full screen. But if I click here, I can make it even less wide, but now, after I click the just aspect, everything worked fine. And then you can change the voice off, uh, the full voice to boops, whatever that means. I wonder if it is just people going boop, boop, boop the whole time, or something like that. We'll check that out at the end of the series. Uh, being full voiced was another factor that allowed this game to be one of the many romantic uh, romantic love dating simulator visual novel games that are on Steam. There's a lot of them, but almost none of them are fully voiced in English, which would mean I would have to read a lot of dialogue out loud, and that's just too much for me. Too much work, too much talking. I, I would get an itch in the back of my throat and start coughing immediately, so full voiced, another factor that allows us. So I'm going to just start as a female character, because that will be interesting to see how the relationships might change. So this game Hi there. is a dialogue choice dating simulator in part, but to gain affection and uh, I think this is affection here and money, you have to play a match three game. And that's really what brings this game uh, up to a factor that makes it actually worth playing and so many games like this uh, are so reliant on just showing the cartoon girls and have terrible gameplay make you go through hundreds of lines of dialogue and choices that don't often even make sense as far as how you got a result because of what you said uh, but they've found a, a way to integrate this sadly honey pup uh, here get, was uh, followed up by a sequel called Honey Cam Studio, which is just trying to run a cam, cam girl website, and it's not the same level of fun. It's, it's not worth playing, like so many other romance things. So, 
We're talking to this girl. Let's say hi, hello. Wow. Okay. Could I get you to maybe take it down a notch? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that's interesting about this is this is written and voiced from the perspective of more of the Western world. Uh, so we're going to get more kind of ditzy Western style ladies instead of uh, more what you would see because J Jap Japan in particular loves to do visual no novels and romance games and there's very specific personality types that they like to do that aren't as well represented in our side of the pond so here I can immediately screw up and say I think I'm in love with you you like really really cute oh sorry I didn't I don't talk to many girls let's just start this way uh, don't want to come on too strong you're really really cute uh, you could in the, you could do that but she just yelled at me for um, for coming on too strong so uh, I guess I'll do this hmm. well you're talking to one now champ <laughs> my name is Kiyu nice to meet you it almost feels like a fallacy that they're giving them Japanese names, uh, but okay, Kiro, that's a weird name. I literally can't remember my name right now. You mean like the letter? K-Y-E? Hmm. Should you tell somebody you're interested in that it's, the, it's a weird name? Hmm. I have to also think about how I'm going to play these this game, because do I want to just throw out what comes off the top of my head? Often when I'm playing a game like this, I would do pick the funniest response. But that's not going to work in a dating sim. It'll end up with a bad ending almost certainly. But then also, if this was a real relationship, I would be very, very bothered if I was filtering myself to an extreme amount and not even willing to say that's a weird name. Uh, and you mean like the letter Kiyu? I, I don't. That might be some reference to what Kiyu means in Japanese. I don't know. Oh, thanks. No, that's great. I have a weird name. Look, <laughs> girl. Are you gonna be all right? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. So, look, girl would have been changed to look, guy, and I suspect that's the only difference between playing as a male as a female. It's. So, obviously, I think this is a tutorial, and so she's going to walk us through what we're supposed to do anyways. So let's just play the bumbling idiot. You just, you just, yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. Let's just, let's just start here with this and make our confession. Oh god, did you just say that? Is this happening? Hmm, wait. <laughs> you know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah! Oh man, this is your lucky day, sister! Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! So, that was... the first interaction. Not a great one. Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do! And who is this fairy? I said, get up! Uh, oh, I was having the best dream. Mmm, five more minutes, all right, I'm up. I'm I, I suppose that's a snore. <laughs> I bet you were. Mm. That get up, I, I'm definitely still dreaming. Wait, who are you? How did how did you get in here? I'm calling the police. Afraid not. This is totally happening. Don't you recognize mm. this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. Oh. So this is Kiyu, and this is how we're gonna see her throughout the rest of the game, I guess. Uh. Yeah, but you had brown hair and also not wings. <laughs> Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. 
If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. Okay. So, she's probably going to work with us to find love with other characters. And so she's not probably going to be the an easy one to court at all. There, in games like this, you know, there was usually easy pass and hard pass. And I bet she's the hardest pass. Uh, okay, but fairies aren't actually a thing. Now I have to interject, you should probably never trust a fairy if you are, are familiar with Shakespeare's time. Uh, they're tricksters and I think that might be the factor here, but probably not. Nowadays fairies are depicted as just being whatever they want them to be. So let's ask what a love fairy is. Good question, I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor gals like you out with the ladies. It's just what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. So... It's interesting they chose a fairy instead of a cupid, too. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm doing fine on my own. Why do you want to help me? What's in it for you? I'm still having a hard time accepting the fairy thing. It kind of crushes my reality. Man, you and all the questions. Can't a fairy just help a sister out? <laughs> we need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Let's see. Define date, like actual date with physical girls, I mean, you know, and amount. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, <laughs> grab your shit, we're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. <laughs> Pretty funny. Or not, I don't care. And she's cussing at you, so I guess we're going to have mature language with the uh, mature thing. So here's the real gameplay right, mechanic. I'll try to make this click. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. So here's where they cram in the, the gameplay feature that doesn't really matter. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. So right here. So we can drag as many as we want, but we want to end on a thing. So there's many different ways this game can be played, things like this. Okay, and I can only knock things one direction or the other. So either vertically or horizontally from where they start. So I can't do something like come over here, knock this one up to this point, and then come back and go in a full circle again and knock this one, which would be here, to this point and match it up. Also, it's not moving around in a circle or a loop, and so there's there's about five different ways these match three puzzle games can be played, and this is a slightly different one before. See, easy. Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance. Blue is talent. Green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. So, those traits are kind of just picked out of nowhere. They, they don't seem like they're like talent versus sexuality versus romance versus uh, I don't even remember the other one attraction man these words don't mean the same things 
And so the Sweet. they hit your okay, what's next? Your oh, right. girl's heart, whoever you're trying to touch real quick. The attract. blue hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Okay. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like so... I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. So I can do this. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. See, the fact that it knocks the character back almost feels like they're... You're... You're fighting, nigga. So, Stuffed Bear converts all broken heart tokens into passion tokens. Six sentiment needed. So, it's not like you're giving gifts here to her as much as you're using it to... Uh... To help yourself. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Seems oh, like they're one time use. And thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So oh, you can use them cool. on your next date too. <laughs> is that cool or what? Alright, alright, I've cool. gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. So, ideally, one would think, increasing the passion tokens here to get plus 25% and then increasing this to get another bit. No, that didn't increase it. More level two would be plus fifty percent, but I didn't get enough there. Mm. So I don't know if I could ever make it so I could make a full cross. I guess I could if I had another green one right there, but I don't. So we'll do that. And I have 16 more moves, and I can play this and get one more move. I can do this, and I can do double. Right there. And I'm at passion level 2. There's really no reason to do a sentiment. I can do this and do a triple combo. There. Gets the passion up some more. Let's see. If I could bring this one down. To this. That's a double combo. And if I had one more pink one, I could stick it here and do a combo there. I'm probably playing a little too well, actually what matters of course these broken hearts we don't want to do so I don't know I don't know about that one Yes, I can do that. We're at 58, and I'm really taking my time here more than I probably need to. Lock 
those two together. Do this, and this should be a double combo. So at level three passion, how about we do this and get a triple? 77 uh, of 100. And let's see, I don't want to move this this way because that would match broken hearts and I don't want to do that. This is probably a great place to get achievements since this game does have achievements uh, in the way of not not breaking any hearts during the date for and they're being really artistically creative here to call this a date because there's no conversation and no other interaction really going on here let's do this Ooh, I hit a broken heart on accident and it took a lot away you need to be careful about that. <laughs> hmm. One moment, I have to cough. Finally learning to use my mute button on my recorder. Hmm. I have 10 moves remaining and I was doing so well, but now I've hit a level while I'm a little afraid. Let's see. She said I wouldn't actually lose on this one, so I probably shouldn't be afraid. And we don't know what kind of traits she particularly is interested in. So, we could be playing correctly or incorrectly for all we know. I, if I was paying attention to the plus numbers that she's getting hit with, that might tell me if she's weaker to say one color than the other. Uh, I've played a lot of cell phone games and the like that are like this, and usually you're attacking something you're not uh romancing a creature and they have weaknesses to certain colors of uh nope oh you can't drag something when there's no match too that's interesting so you have to make a match uh that could proved to be slightly difficult, but not amazingly impossible. Let's see. Ninety-one out of a hundred. Now there's no way to make this into a full uh, four three by three cross there. Let's see. 91 again in five moves. Hmm. 91 in four moves. Ooh, what am I doing wrong? I'm not making combinations, but they're not adding up. 94 and three moves I could get a bell for one more move forward I could do this ooh I am in big trouble now I just made a huge combination and my passion level is now at four times max level so that's ideally good, but also I've created a problem. Let's 
so... <coughs> 70 and 2 moves, and I don't have enough bells. Hmm. I've played so cautiously, uh, but... <coughs> not cautiously enough, obviously. This game is gonna prove to be a little bit more of a challenge than I realized. Hmm. So here we've hit the losing position because unless I could use these 36 sentiments that I have, and ideally if I had items I would have used them, uh, there's no fixing this. And see that was one move and I used the one move and it just gave me another one move. So, now I'm to two moves, and now I'm down to one move again, and we finally succeeded, and it's giving me a thousand Mooney. Nice. That's what they're calling see, money. I knew you had it in you. It's morning already? <laughs> we are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honeybee 4.0. You got the Honeybee. The Honeybee <laughs> is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can Creepy. organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits, it's awesome. We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big girl. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. <laughs> go ahead, break that bad boy open. So, click this. We have a tissue box used for wiping your nose or cleaning up other various body fluids. Gross. Reading material that you only look at for the interesting articles. Gross. And let's see, we have one date gift, the stuffed bear. And gifts and food. We don't have any things. Let's see. Girl finder, no girls yet. Girls, no girls yet. Messages, no messages yet. Inventory, we were there. Store, we can use these... Mm, items I imagine and traits cost whatever this is and it may be that each one of these pips is something we could upgrade um, let's see the chance of generating a power token increases 30% power tokens multiply the affection earned by for a match uh, the penalty for broken heart tokens decreases the maximum passion level increases to 6 to give an additional 100% passion. It seems like if you got passion up to the maximum, that would be your first move and your best move, but it didn't really feel like that worked. Uh, so each one of these traits, ideally, we'd want to upgrade. Here we have the same menus, except for now there is a difficulty setting too, and the men menu certainly does work better this way. Okay, great. I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. So, I can also right-click at any point to get this. And so, Monday, 01 morning. So, for this series, because there will be times in which I will have to censor things, it only makes sense to keep things short. And so, I'm going to stick to a 30-minute or thereabout run just one game or whatever we now kind of know what the general idea is we're trying to find a, a appropriate match for our romantic uh, achievements or endeavors yeah not achievements yet and this fairy is going to help us key you 
and she's gonna cuss at us and be in her underwear at the same time so definitely not as family friendly a game as I kind of had hoped it would have been if I had censored it but still I think well within YouTube's terms but this is certainly something you would let no younger than a late teenager play a game like this and probably if it really is rated adults only which it probably is well actually no let me take that back I'm totally wrong because the the, the censoring doesn't actually exist in the game and I will be doing that you would not let anyone under 18 whatsoever play this game if you were an appropriate adult uh, following rules and possible laws of the land uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor and such but this video I'm gonna try to take it down from adults only to a rated R style like movies still something you wouldn't let young people watch and so if you are a young kid stop watching at this point or, or hopefully no young kids even made it this far and it's, it's gonna be kind of a boring game from the perspective of my coverage too because you're not certainly going to get to see any of the uh, good bits as it were anywho that's gonna be it for this first recording I end all my recordings the same way I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want to support me even further you can go to my main YouTube page you can click that subscribe button to subscribe on the right of the subscribe button is the notification bell click that to make sure you get a notification for every single video I watch uh, I release not watch oh no you would never want to see all the notifications for all the YouTube videos I watch and then on the right of my main YouTube page is a button that says support this channel you can click and make a donation if you really really want to support me finally down below in the description box I have links to all my social media sites Facebook Twitter Tumblr Google Plus Steam and Battle.net please follow and friend me on all of those they also will allow you to know exactly when my newest videos are out and they will help you stay in the loop and help me with those services by having more followers thank you for watching have a good evening